What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, cats, who side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. I received a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do. Okay. So, um, if you'd like to donate, there's one way right now. It's through my PayPal account. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. It's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below if you'd like to donate. Thanks, everybody, for all the donations. Um, I greatly appreciate them. Just let you know. Um, by the way, we are five away from 12,000 subscribers. So, thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Five away. So, thanks so much. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, a um, air sign and a earth sign secret plan to um, air sign and earth sign secret plan to have an earth sign and a secret romantic relationship with a coworker has backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. Um, Plan B has occurred, and um, a Scorpio and a Libra is about to be thrown under the bus in a huge way. That's what I heard. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for whoever. Uh, that's pretty crazy. So um, however in the hell that resonates for whoever, um, it's not you. It could be somebody you're connected to. It's pretty crazy if you ask me. Um, so an earth sign and an air sign had a secret plan, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they could be masculine or feminine. I didn't hear if they were masculine or feminine. So however it plugs in, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius had a secret plan. I heard a secret plan to have this tour. It sounds like the same earth sign, same Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. In some, place, in some situations, it could be another earth sign, but I feel it's the same earth sign. To get into a secret romantic relationship, I heard with one of their co-workers. So this Taurus Capricorn Virgo <laughs> plan was to get into some kind of secret romantic relationship with one of their co-workers. Um, and they had a secret plan with a Gemini Libra Aquarius to do it, apparently. Um, but I heard it has backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. So now it's plan B. Now plan B it sounds like, and this isn't the birth control medication plan B. This is actually a plan B, just saying. The plan B now, I heard, is to throw a Scorpio and a Libra under the bus. So, so to portray them in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in, however that resonates for whoever. Um, so the plan B has backfired on them. The, uh, these two were trying to get this person, this earth sign, um, into a secret relationship with one of their co-workers. But I heard it's backfired. It's going to continue to backfire. So now their plan B, actual plan B and not the birth control, is to throw a Scorpio and a Libra under the bus. So however that resonates for whoever. Good Lord. Scorpio masculine and Libra feminine. It's going to be very effective. Lots of evidence there. Oh, shit. Whoa, I heard a Scorpio masculine and a Libra feminine. It's going to be very effective. Lots of evidence there. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it, apparently the plan is going to be a very effective, I heard. It's going to be very effective. Um, lots of evidence there. Um, we have Journey on the bottom of the deck. Number 10 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 10, it could be... Uh, Possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible day birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. Number 10. Also 10s are completions of cycles. So the completion of cycle of feeling of this secret plan to get this air sign and this um, earth sign to get this a co-worker, a co-worker of the earth sign I'm feeling into a secret romantic relationship. Apparently the co-worker was not interested. Um, I'm presuming. I mean, obviously. And you can't do that anyways, especially, I mean, if they're not interested, 
you're risking sexual harassment in a workplace. That's huge as things. Sexual harassment. I mean, obviously they're not interested. So yeah, I would back away too, because you don't want them screaming sexual harassment on your ass because they're obviously not interested or sign just saying, just saying. Someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. I heard someone's getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Yeah, I, I hope so about sexual harassment um, in the workplace. I, I'm serious about that. That's huge and that's real. And who the hell, I mean, what? Just saying, just saying. But I heard this other plan, this plan B plan of this throwing this Scorpio masculine and this Libra family under the bus is going to be very effective, whatever plan that is and how that resonates. So apparently you're bypassing the current co-worker. I'm assuming you're probably, uh, Ursa doesn't want a sexual harassment lawsuit placed on her ass. And I would, I would back away too. That doesn't sound very smart, Ursa. And I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. So you're going to stray away and now it's to throw this, Scorpio mask on this Libra fam under the bus. Heard it's going to be very effective. Whoever these people are and however they resonate in your life, they could have Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge, Scorpio, that's a Libra fam. Scorpio masculine could have uh, Scorpio and a sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Um, completions of cycles here. Completions of this plan that didn't pan out, and now you're going to plan B. I heard there's lots of evidence here. So there's lots of evidence on these two. Apparently there wasn't on this one or you're trying to make it to be where there was a secret sexual relationship. But this person seems very smart and highly intuitive too. And like I said, this person could place a sexual harassment lawsuit on your ass. So that's probably why you're backing away outside. Just saying, just saying. Um, so completion of that plan to plan B is what I'm feeling. I heard there's lots of evidence here. So I would go where the evidence lies. Just saying, just saying. So completions of cycle, journeying to the plan B is what I'm feeling here. Um, I'm feeling you earth sign and you air sign or may, both of you or maybe one of you is about to provide some very important information on these two people. This Scorpio masculine, this Libra fam, they sound like criminals. Um, just saying, just saying. So you're journeying to plan B. Maybe for some, they're going to journey to the big house, possibly. You plugging in how it resonates, which would be completion of cycle, having them jailed. You plug in, only you know your story, not anybody else, earth sign and air sign um, people. I don't know if you're masculine or femme. You plug it in, how it resonates over here. Um, wow. Experiment, okay. High honor. I heard take another one. I had an uh, immature woman on the bottom of the deck. Experiment, you just have to like this. A Gemini masculine is going to end up in jail soon. And a Libra feminine. Okay. I heard a Gemini masculine and a Libra feminine are going to end up in jail soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a Scorpio masculine is going to have a sexual harassment lawsuit placed against him very soon. Very soon. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God. Okay, so a um, Gemini masculine and a Libra feminine, I heard, are going to wind up in jail soon. So we didn't get the jail card out here, but I mean, it was spiritual download. So just saying. Gemini masculine um, and a Libra femme are going to end up in jail soon. Um, maybe you are the ones that have, I mean, it could be these two that have information with the plan B energy to put these two into jail. Um, well, not these two. It might be the same Scorpio masculine and then a Gemini masculine in jail, or it might be somebody else. It might be these two. It might be you. Somebody has information to put a Libra feminine and a Gemini masculine in jail in some shape, form, or fashion. Sounds like you're about to use it, about to call the police, about to call the feds, about to call somebody, put their ass in jail. Um, whoever you are and how that resonates. Um, and um, uh, what was the other one? Um, 
Hold on. I forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. Forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. Um, oh, and a Scorpio masculine is about to get a, a sexual harassment lawsuit placed on him soon. Um, so you plug in and how it resonates. I, um, how are that resonates? So we were pulling in initially for the plan B energy, a Scorpio masculine link or femme. So I'm thinking it's the same people I, in a lot of these situations. For some of you guys, it could be different um, people, but I'm feeling it's the same people. They're obviously dark. They're on the dark side over here. So Scorpio masculine is about to get a law, um, a lawsuit placed on him for sexual harassment soon. So it could be you placing a lawsuit on the Scorpio masculine for sexual harassment or somebody else. And I think this Libra feminine, the one they're coming in on the plan B for is about to go to jail soon. And then a Gemini masculine is going to jail soon too. So you plug it in how it resonates. That could be the poverty energy too, having to bail out or having to place bond or having to lawyer up. If you have no bail in jail, depending on your charges um, and poverty energy for the Scorpio masculine, because I heard he's going to um, have a sexual harassment lawsuit placed on him soon. And it will not be successful. Too much evidence. Oh, my Lord. And I heard it will not be successful. Too much evidence. So one of you guys is about to place a sexual harassment lawsuit on a Scorpio masculine. And I heard it's not going to be successful because there's too much evidence. So poverty for these people, I think, because they're either going to have to bail out of jail, bond out of jail, or lawyer up in jail, or get a lawyer for the sexual harassment. I heard the um, sexual harassment one for the Scorpio masculine will not be, um, it will not be successful for him, for him because there's too much evidence. So poverty energy, because they're going to have to spend a lot of money on legal fees, lawyers, jail, bailing out, bonding out if they're able to, depending on the charges. You plug it in, how that resonates. Wow. Holy crap. Number 25, 3, or 37 can be very significant numbers. 25, 3, or 37. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. 25, 3, or 37. High honor. Someone is about to become an informant to the to the feds. Someone is already an informant for the feds, but the feds are about to drop drop this person because they have been nothing but lying. Oh my God! You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, we have been pulling in so much fed energy. So someone, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, I heard is about to become an informant for the feds. So feds, federal agents, I'm feeling that could be DEA, CIA, FBI, or marshals. Some kind of federal agent energy. I'm feeling it could be any of those. Somebody's already an informant for these people, this group, whether it's DEA, CIA, uh, FBI, or um, marshals. But I heard they've been lying. So they're about to be dropped. And somebody else, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, it could be one of these people or you, if you're placing the lawsuit on the Scorpio masculine or somebody else, somebody else is about to become an informant for these people. But the one current informant or informants I heard is about to be dropped because they're doing nothing but lying to them. So whether they're lying to FBI, CIA, um, DEA, or uh, marshals, um, somebody's about to person or people is about to be dropped from being an informant for the feds and somebody's about to be in for an informant for the feds. So I think that's the high honor energy here. Um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. Now, I don't know how they're about to become an informant for the feds. I didn't hear all that. I don't know if the feds are going to reach out to them or how. I don't know. I, I'm not a federal agent. I have no idea. But somehow that these people, the whether it's DEA, CIA, FBI, or marshals, some kind of federal agency, Fed level has an informant on the situation. And I think regarding all this shit. Um, but they're lying to them. But the feds, I think, are about to pick up their line on to, to them, or they've already picked up on the fact they're lying to them. They're about to drop them and get somebody else. Somebody new. Either one person or two plus people. So I feel that's the high honor energy. Holy crap. Marriage reverse.
A lot of people were lied to and said a fire sign feminine energy has an adult living with her, and that is not the truth. So many people are picking up on this now. It is about to become extremely significant very soon. Oh my God, so you plug it in how it resonates. We're pulling in fire sign feminine energy strong. So I'm feeling that might have been lying to the feds. The fed, I think the feds want to know who's living with this fire sign femme and somebody lied to the feds, I'm feeling, and told them that somebody was living with this fire sign femme. But I heard spiritual download, nobody is. Nobody is. Uh, she sounds single as a Pringle or single on tax return energy, single. Single, single, like nobody. She's not in like any relationship, period. Um, I heard many people are getting a huge wake up call and realizing nobody's living with her. I think including the feds. Um, and I heard um, it's about to become a huge deal soon. So the fact that she's single is a huge deal in some shape, form or fashion to federal agent or agents or to a lot of people. How that resonates. This is far as I'm femme energy uh, being single. And she could get high on her for being single, uh, possibly. Um, how that resonates. Um, how that resonates. She's about to get huge high on her. Huge. Someone attempted to put her in a false marriage in the past and it's about to hugely backfire on them in a huge way. Huge. Oh my lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard she's about to get huge high on her. So this fire sign fan, this Aries Leo Sag, legally single, single to Pringle, don't have anybody living with her, period. Um, Adult-wise in a relationship. Energy. Um, is about to get high on her in a huge way. Um, somebody lied. I think somebody's been lying to the feds saying that she is, has somebody living with her for strategic reasons. Maybe it's the informant or informant's energy lying to the feds. Maybe you're the feds they've lied to. I'm not sure. But somebody's lying to the feds and the feds want to know if somebody's living with her. Somebody has been lying and saying somebody is living with her, but they're not. They're not living with her. I heard she's about to get huge, but they're but the feds are about to figure this out, or they already have. Maybe you're the feds, or somebody connected to the feds, or what have you. But somehow the feds are about to figure it out, or they already have. But however that resonates, um, she don't have anybody living with her. She don't have anybody living with her. She's single to Pringle, but people uh, apparently is important to a lot of people and to the feds. Um, but people were strategically lying to the feds, and I feel other people saying that she did, but she don't. But I heard it's about to become extremely important soon, and the fact that um, she is single is about to become extremely important soon, too. Her, she's about to get high on her um, in this, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, maybe um, I heard uh, also somebody tried to put her under false marriage in the past. But it's about to extremely boomerang and backfire back on their ass. So whoever in the hell will try to put her in a false marriage, um, whoever it was, it could be this air sign, this earth sign, this Scorpio masculine. Hell, it could even be the Libra Femme for all we know. Um, it's 2022, so you never know. Somebody tried to put her in a false marriage, though. So it, or it could have been the Gemini masculine. Um, somebody tried to put her in a false marriage. But whoever tried to put her in a false marriage... I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So you plug in how it resonates and then poverty upright. Someone's about to lose their property and assets from the... Severe RICO crimes, RICO Act. Federal indictment energy. They will be imprisoned after this. 
Oh my God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. I heard someone is going to lose their home, property, and assets after all this is said and done um, because of some kind of RICO crime um, through the RICO Act. Now, anybody doesn't know what the RICO crimes and RICO acts are, you can go back to my reading that I did the other day on that, or you can Google RICO crimes and RICO acts, the RICO Act um, of 1970. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, but the RICO Act and RICO crimes, or, which is basically organized crime, organized crime involving gang stalking, hitting, well, it doesn't have to involve hitting cameras, but it can, hitting cameras, stalking, gang stalking, organized crime, basically. Organized crime. Gang stalking is organized crime. Placing illegal voyeur cameras in people's homes to gang stalk them, stalk them, steal from them. That's an organized crime. Secret 7 situation was definite organized crime. Anything that is organized crime, basically, is RICO at RICO crimes. Um, but I heard some, someone's about to lose um, it all, basically. Their home, uh, their property, their home or homes, assets, and um, it sounds like their money in all this um, because it sounds like they gained it through organized crime. So they're going to be in poverty. I heard um, federal indictments and they will be uh, end up in prison after all this is said and done. So they might go to jail initially and then have to wait for trial or what have you. Um, and this sounds like like felonies. This doesn't sound like misdemeanor energy. So they might not even be able to bond or bail out of jail. They might have to wait in jail until their trial possibly for some of these depending on the charges um and then they will have a um a trial a trials you plug it in how it resonates wow this is crazy let me see if i hear anything else Several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with these situations and fast. Huge information leaks have already gotten out and more are about to get out to the right people. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with these situations. Um, huge information leaks have already gotten out and some more are about to get out her to the right people. So I'm feeling fed energy. We have heavy fed energy in here. We have informant energy in here, dirty informant energy. There's somebody about to be pulled in. Either one person or several people, whoever you guys choose to pull in, I guess if I'm talking to the feds here, for whoever your informants are. Um, so new informant energy coming in, old about to be nixed. Um, a lot of changes here, a lot of changes. 555 five, five energy here. Um, Someone was put in a false marriage, which is highly criminal and highly illegal. I hope whoever did that to whoever, um, I hope they wind up in jail or prison for a very long time because that should be serious federal charges to put somebody in a false marriage. And I'm serious about that. Um, you should never do that to anybody, period. Point blank, period. I mean, if it's not federal crimes, it should be. And I'm serious about that. Uh, we should be positive change makers in the universe, not negative ones. And if you put somebody in false marriage, that should be federal crimes, in my opinion. And I'm serious about that. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. And the person that put somebody in false marriage, in my opinion, should be in, in prison for a very long time too. Because you shouldn't, I mean, that should be so criminal. And, that is so criminal, so illegal. And that's just the truth. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, you know, it, it, I've been married, one, legally married one time in my life, one time. And it clearly states on the marriage document, you have to be in your right mental capacities to sign the marriage document, period, point blank. So they obviously did it for greed and money, obviously. And I think it's involved in this RICO crime and RICO Act, um, the RICO Act and the RICO crimes, organized crime. And I'm serious about that. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, well, I'm getting off of here. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.